43 years since his sannyas initiation in Jaffna, and 32 years since his last visit, Bodhinatha finally had the opportunity to return to Sri Lanka. He and sannyasin Shanmuganatha Swami flew to the island nation on January 21st. During their nine-day journey, they visited the Samadhi shrines of Kadait Swami, Chalapa Swami, and Yoga Swami. They also visited two branches of the Shivathanda Niliam and the Vedanta Madam, whose guru lineage traces back to Kadait Swami. Temple visits included Nalur, Kumbalavalai, Iliad, Naguleshwara Shivan, Arpashupati Swara Shrine, and the Murukandi Pilyar Temple at Elephant Pass. The two also visited all 12 Lankan beneficiaries of Hindu heritage endowment, three orphanages, three schools, a home for the elderly, a home for mentally disturbed women, and four temples. Our efforts to provide authentic history resources on Hinduism and India are bearing fruit, in January, videographer Shushma Parmar, narrator Raj Narayan, and their crew spent nearly two weeks filming in Maharashtra and Gujarat for the second and third parts of the History of Hindu India movie series. In late 2014, the Kauai team worked closely with Dr. Shiva Bajpai to develop scripts for parts two and three, each running about 20 minutes. The crew got permission to film at Alora site of the famed 8th century Kailashanada temple. This huge temple is unique in having been carved out of a solid granite cliff from the top down which is hard to even visualize let alone accomplish. It was not built by joining carved stones together but by cutting away all the unwanted space, an astounding feat in any era. On January 4th the monastery celebrated the major Nataraja festival of the year, Ardra Darshana at which all the monastics assist in the puja in one capacity or another. The vibration created by the lengthy Abhishekam was powerful and uplifting. One visitor called it, the best puja I have ever attended. Makar Sankrani was celebrated on January 15th as Taipongal and Matupongal here at the monastery, giving thanks for fresh vegetables that our garden has given us and honoring the monastery cows with ceremony and tasty treats. Thank you.